active viewers. This week I take on sponsors in this video. What exactly is a sponsor, you may ask? It is a foam paint applicator that you use to pounce paint in through a stencil. I'm going to take a look at three commonly found brands from Plaid, Doris, and Martha Stewart Crafts to see how they perform. I'll be using three different medium and a stencil from American Crafts from Dear Lizzie. Check out our blog to see a list of exactly which products I've used and there will be a link for a couple of the products that are going to be a little bit more difficult to find. Now on to our review. So let's get to work to see how the different uh, sponsors work. What you ask is a sponsor. A sponsor is a pouncing sponge that you use for stencils. And this one is from Plaid. This one is from Darice, and this is a Martha Stewart sponsor. These two seem very similar in that this is probably the squishiest of the three. This one is a little less squishy, and this one is pretty firm. There's not a lot of give to this one unless you really push on it compared to the other two. This one is uh, the <laughs> The one from Doris is a little lopsided. Don't know about the quality control. You can see very obviously that it's a little bit cattywampus. Doesn't really impact it in use, but um, it is an indication of the level of quality. Uh, this one seems to stand up nice and straight, and the Martha Stewart one comes in this neat little tube, which I'm sure you can probably also use as part of your mixed media art and the sponge part comes out for cleansing. It is a little tricky to get it back in. You kind of have to squish it to get it back in there. Once you're done washing it and letting it dry, I recommend letting it dry outside of the tube otherwise it may never actually dry very well. And this is your good old rather firm makeup sponge. I have been using the makeup sponges with my distress oxide paints or inks um, to use it so that I didn't dirty up all of the different applicators that I have for ink. Now I wouldn't use one of these for ink. Um, I think these work just fine. There's no reason to um, use one of these and it probably wouldn't work as well would be my guess. The foam is not quite as firm. Plus, I mean these fit perfectly in the little one inch size inks underneath the uh, base of it. So, Because I've used this one quite a bit to date, I'm going to start off with this one and see how it works with the 3D stamp paint. I've had other blog posts where I did a comparison of different ways of adding shimmer to a card base and the stamp paint was one of the mediums that I used there. And it has this beautiful shimmer to it. I like to stir it up a little bit before I get started. And I'm actually just going to put a little bit on here. And maybe even just use the sponsor straight from the sponge to load it up. You don't need very much of this at all. This dries really fast, and so in the middle of the video I will be going off screen to clean it off so that the 3D stamp paint doesn't dry onto it, as well as onto the stencil. You can see that it just takes some light pouncing with it. transfer the stamp paint onto the paper through the stencil. Now when you're doing stenciling like this, the fact that it is a little bit more squishy actually isn't a bad thing. 
because that helps squish it into the paper a little bit. Now this one's so much firmer, and you can even hear it on the paper. All right, there's those three, the stamp paint. And before the stamp paint dries on the stencil, I'm actually going to pick it up and wash it off off screen. So I will be right back and we can see how the paper looks underneath when I'm done. Alrighty then, we're back. Here you can see I sprayed a little bit of water to get this off of the craft mat. And it does, it's pretty thick when you try to pull it back up. But it does have this beautiful shimmer in it. And what does it look like on the paper? So all three look very similar. It doesn't appear like there's a whole lot of difference in terms of thickness or detail with the different applicators. I don't know if you can see that shimmer. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, it is, the 3D stamp paint is beautiful with the shimmer, and it has a little bit of texture to it, too. And it dried almost immediately. In fact, on the stencil, it was already dry, and I'm not sure if I got it completely off or not. So, let's see how the Prima Art Alchemy acrylic paints work. This is the metallic paint. And it's the first time I've actually been using it on a project, so we'll see how it behaves with the stencil. It's beautiful paint. I'm holding down the stencil and paper with some micropore tape, and you can see that even though it was wet from being washed in the sink to wash the stencil off, the tape sticks just as if it was put on the first time. It's probably why they use it for medical purposes, is because it doesn't lose its grip when it's wet. So this is the metallic paint in Wild Fuchsia, which I thought would be pretty with the flowers on the stencil. The beautiful hot pink color. Actually, I'm just going to use it right from the lid there. I'm using watercolor paper. This is the skills paper from Strathmore, and you can see that even though it's watercolor paper, with a very minimal amount of moisture, it is still bowing up like that. So I got three similar flowers that I can use for each different medium or to each different sponsor. This is a lot more liquidy paint than the paint, the 3D stamp paint. So this will be a good test to see how it gets in to the nooks and crannies of a stencil. The motion that I'm using is straight up and down motion. I'm not really moving it side to side at all. Now for the 
plaid brand. Give this a little stir. I don't know if you can see that. It has some beautiful shimmer to it. This one seems to go on a little easier with that one. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know maybe if the sponge is a little bit more moist or it just goes on easier because of the sponginess. Now this is the solid Martha Stewart one. And you can see this one doesn't because it's so much more firm. It's really taking a lot more to get the color squished in there. And I'm not sure with the stencil if I like that or not, just because just because sorry, you can hear my dog bark drinking in the background. It's a dog, not a horse drinking. Oh, she is the size of a small pony. But this one, it's not quite getting the paint in there as readily as the other two. I feel like I would have to maybe twist it a little bit to kind of get it in there. And I don't know if I'd want to use this on a stencil per se, like if I was doing a project on a wall or something. That just didn't really work as well. Alrighty, I'll be back as I go off and rinse this off the stencil as well as off the sponsors. And then we'll take a look to see, once I had a chance to dry, how the three look and see if there's any leakage. Alrighty, I'm back. So here you can see the results of using the Art Alchemy paint. This is the metallic paint. And there's a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is a little different than the shimmer that you see from the 3D stamp paint, the Viva paint. You can also see with the 3D stamp paint that there was very little bleed through underneath the stencil. Now I will admit I am not a stenciler. Um, I usually use it with texture paste. I've never really used it with paint so it could be the user and not the product. I will have that disclaimer. But you can see that this was with the sponsor. It went underneath. Here you can see that we had some seepage underneath and you can see seepage underneath on this one but the shimmer on this paint is really pretty this paint did dry really fast uh, it was hard to get it off the stencil and surprisingly it was actually harder to get it off the stencil than it was for the 3d stamp paint Alrighty, <laughs> where did our flowers go? All sides of this stencil look very similar. There we go. Now, this is the second time this micropore tape, which is a medical tape, has been wet and then dried off with a paper towel and you can see that it's still doing a good job sticking so uh, I got it from Amazon it did come in a box of 10 rolls unfortunately and they're this is the I think half inch thick 
they have some other sizes as well. Um, ten rolls will last you quite a while. Uh, I think I'm only on my second roll over a two year period. Um, but it's great tape because it holds just enough and not too much. You can also see that when I was trying to wash up the paint off the mat, one thing I don't like, the uh, stamp paint came up really easy. This is now coming up as little flakes everywhere and even moistening it, it didn't come off the craft mat very easily. Which can be a problem if you have a tablecloth underneath like I do. Okay, so I realized I forgot to wash off, wash off my spatula, and you can see that now, at the tip, I really can't get the paint off of it. Um, it was not washing off very easily. It'll scrape off, but it certainly wasn't washing off, and that was only from sitting there for just a couple minutes. So now onto the dilutions paint. Um, I have not used these paints very much. And it's something I do want to try to get more use out of. And these are nice and thick and creamy. And I'm probably just going to dip straight out of there now. This is a great stencil because we got lots of leaves that we can use it on. This paint is a lot more fluid. These little leaves are a good way to understand how well the spouncer works in fine detail areas. This is the one from Derice. This is the one from Plaid. And since we don't have a whole lot of large leafy areas, I'm actually just going to go in between the flowers here with this one. And Martha Stewart. Again, you can see it's because this foam is so firm, it's really not going through the stencil very well, like the other two did. Not as much of a fan of this one as the other ones. Now, 
Now, you will notice my little makeup sponge sitting here all by itself. I totally forgot to use it. And at this point, given that this is even more firm than this, um, I'm not going to go back and try to figure out if it works very well or not. So, we have Jerice. We have the Spouncer from Plaid, and we have Martha Stewart. So, I'm going to go wash these off, and I'll be right back to see how those came out underneath the stencil. Alrighty, so, got that all cleaned up. Uh, what was interesting was I actually washed the Spouncers first, and then the stencil, and this Dilutions paint was the paint that came off the easiest, even though it sat on the stencil the longest. So. Um, so that was easy. Now to take a look at our final sample. This was the one from Doris. And you can see that the paint really went underneath quite a bit. Again, like I said earlier, I am not a stencilist. It's entirely possible. It's operator error. However, Using the one from Plaid, this one did retain a little bit more of the detail. There's not as much seepage underneath the stencil. And finally, the Martha Stewart over here. This is the one I kind of struggled to get the paint in through the stencil. Uh, there's a lot more detail. These lines are a lot crisper than over here. You could see I got very fine areas, and here I could not get into the fine areas in the stencil. So this is probably the least favorite of the three. And it's a close call between the other two, but I do think that I like the one from Plaid a little bit better. It is a sponsor. Um, you can also see a pretty big difference in the size of the handles. So even though the price was very similar between both packages, uh, the quality of the one from Plaid is higher. Um, it was just a much nicer one, and I do like the results of that one a little bit better as well. So, you can also see the shimmer from two of the three paints, um, and the beautiful blue metallic shimmer on this Art Alchemy paint. This is the first time I've used it, and I can't wait to create other stuff with it. Um, and I've used the 3D stamp paint quite a bit. Um, I'll link to two other cards at the end of this video where I actually use them in card making projects, as well as links to the blog where I review different ways of adding shimmer onto a card base. That's all for today. Happy crafting! And here again is a quick look at our winner. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button below. And that way you'll be kept up to date with all the new videos that we post. Thank you. Mm -hmm.